Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about traction devices that you can use so that you can continue hiking and exploring even during the winter time. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon family. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews, just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I make a new video. And as always, if you want more content from me, you can support me over on Patreon, where for as little as just $1, you get two extra videos from me a month. Okay, let's get into the the video. We're first going to start out with like nano spikes, yak tracks, that kind of thing. It looks like this and it's basically just a rubber thing that goes over your shoe and has tiny little metal spikes on it as well as rubber grips to grip the ice a little bit. These are perfect for like urban settings. If the sidewalk is really icy or you're walking through the park, you have to walk your dog and it's super icy out. These come in clutch for stuff like that. Honestly, in Bend, it's like that quite often. So I would recommend getting some of these. You can get these on Amazon. I got these at Costco. Next, I have micro spikes. So micro spikes look like this. It's kind of like a chain that goes under the shoe and it has these spikes on it. So these are the Catula micro spikes. I absolutely love these. They work really well on the trail. I've used them a few times and they really are handy when it's icy out on the trail, especially as you're going up and down in elevation. The micro spikes are great, like I said, for flat urban settings. They're not really going to help you grip if you're going up and down hills. So that's where you're going to want something that has a little more of a bite to it. And these teeth are pretty intense. So I highly recommend these. You can find some cheaper ones on Amazon, but I have heard that a lot of the chains and stuff break on those cheaper ones. So I recommend just biting the bullet, getting the Catula micro spikes. They're really, really great. There's a lot of like little in-between things between the micro spikes and the nano spikes. There's traction devices that are like just chain material, and little coil material. I'll insert photos here. They basically all do the same thing and help you not slip on ice and compacted snow. The chains and stuff, they aren't gonna give you as good of a grip as um, the spikes would. So keep whatever activity you most do in mind when you are purchasing. Now, the next level is a crampon. Most of us average hikers don't own crampons. Crampons are used for climbing mountains when there is still snowpack. So if you are summiting Mount Hood, if you are summiting Mount Shasta, if you're summiting one of the three sisters anytime besides summer you will need a crampon and usually when you have a crampon you also need an ice axe just keep that in mind if you are buying crampons make sure you have an ice axe because you'll need it for safety but that's just a little side point so crampons don't just slip over your shoe like these they are more heavy duty with like straps and stuff so that they don't fall off and they have quite large spikes. Now let's move on to snowshoes and the different kinds of snowshoes you can get. So if you are not hiking in an area where there's compacted snow on the trail or the sidewalk or the park or wherever you're going, you will likely need snowshoes and there is a array of different kinds of snowshoes that you can get and it can be really overwhelming. I do have a full video on snowshoes. I will link that right here. So I'm not going to go into crazy detail in this video because that video is much more detailed and goes into depth about snowshoes. If you're not doing anything in like really crazy terrain, let's say you're just going to a snow park that has some groomed trails and you're not really doing a lot of elevation and you're probably not going to be breaking trail a ton, I highly recommend just getting something lightweight 
and simple kind of like these tubs. Now these are a pretty old version of tubs. Tubs don't look like this anymore. Look a little bit more modern nowadays. Um, this is like nylon straps and stuff which actually tend to freeze. So not a great design, but tubs have come a long way and I highly recommend these. They are super lightweight and they really do the trick. Now on the back here, as you can see, so they have a main spike and then they have little spikes here. And that's pretty much it as far as traction goes on these. If you're doing a lot of hill climbing and backcountry exploring, I highly recommend getting something a little bit more beefy. You're gonna want more traction, you're gonna want more um, flotation as well. So I recommend getting something a little bit bigger. Now you don't have to go this big. This is actually a little bit oversized for what I need. So this is the MSR Lightning Ascent. It is an older version. They have since updated their strapping and it is way more modern and actually super easy to get your foot in and out. These are pretty cumbersome and I wish I had a new pair because these rubber straps kind of suck. <laughs> Regardless, the Lightning Ascent is a snowshoe that I highly, highly recommend. They have a lot more teeth as you can see. So it has this big claw right here. It's pretty aggressive. And then as you can see on the sides here, all of these are teeth as well. So the sides of the snowshoe have teeth and so does the middle. So the cool thing about teeth on the side is that if you are doing any like side hilling or steep terrain, you won't slip down, which is super awesome and has come in handy for me multiple times as I'm backcountry exploring. Another thing to keep in mind with snowshoes real quick is um, whether or not it has a heel lift. If you're going to do any kind of elevation gain, I highly recommend that you get a pair of snowshoes with a heel lift. Now, you don't have to get MSR snowshoes. You don't have to get tubs. Those are definitely name brand snowshoes and the price tag does reflect that. If you've never snowshoed before, you're just starting out, I highly recommend that you rent snowshoes. You can generally rent them at your local ski shop or your local outfitter. If you are looking to purchase but just don't wanna spend the money on tubs or MSR snowshoes, you can get snowshoes at Costco. I've heard pretty good things about the snowshoes from Costco, especially as a starting point. You can also find an abundance of snowshoes on Amazon for around $120 or less. So that was my video about traction devices so that you can keep hiking and exploring in the winter time. If you have any questions about any of these traction devices, please comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you haven't already, go follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post all of my recent hiking and backpacking adventure pictures. And if you want to hike and backpack here in this amazing amazing state of Oregon. Check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find tons of information there as well as access to my three hiking guidebooks that I've written over the years. As always, I would love to hear your video suggestions, so comment those below and I will add them to the list of videos that I'm making over the next few months. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next adventure.